Hi, and welcome to this course on Sound Design in Logic Pro's Sculpture. My name is Rishabh Rajan, and I will be showing you how to create a variety of different sounds in this extremely powerful synth. A lot of us DAW-based composers are always looking for third-party software synths and plugins to use in our productions, as we just assume that the built-in ones are generally subpar. Now, this may be true sometimes, but when it comes to sculpture, this is definitely not the case. Sculpture is probably the most powerful and complex synth in Logic Pro. Sculpture uses a component modeling synth engine, so it is very different from using a more conventional subtractive or FM-based synth. Though having some background in that will definitely help here. In Sculpture, you are more like an instrument designer. You're thinking more in terms of what the instrument's resonating object is made of, how the object is excited, what is the shape of the instrument, and things like that. We will be designing some real-world instruments, as well as some electronic instruments, and even obscure sound design instruments, which is actually what this synth excels at. Now, if you've seen any of my other sound design courses, you should have a pretty decent idea about how this course is going to be structured. It's quite simple. Each tutorial will focus on one specific instrument, where I will start with a very basic sound and gradually build towards the intended sound. One thing I must say is that don't focus too much on specific parameter values. Just try to grasp the key ideas behind the instrument design. This way it will stay with you longer and you may even be able to reproduce the sound on a different modeling based synth engine. I should also mention that I will not be covering the actual controls of the synth or showing you how modeling synthesis works. If you want to learn about sculpture and how to use it, I'm sure you will be able to find another course in our library that goes through that in much detail. In this course, we will just focus on sound design. Okay, let's not waste any more time and get right into it in the next tutorial.